howdy and welcome to this lesson which is on dividing decimals by a whole number followed by dividing decimals by decimals. Tricky stuff, hey? So, to divide decimals by a whole number, what on earth do you do? Hmm. So if you've got something like 9.6 divided by 3, simple. Just do the division like normal. I call this thing the garage, just the thing I came up with because it looks like a garage. You've got something parked in the garage, something outside the garage. Set up the division garage, which is this thing. But don't forget the thing you're dividing by has to go outside the garage. So the thing that's being divided has to be inside the garage. The thing that comes next has to be kicked outside the garage. So set up the division garage. Refer, you park the first number in the garage. Make sure you leave the decimal point in the number this time. So when you did multiplication, you ignored the decimals, but when you're doing division, you need to keep the decimal. To the left of the garage, you park the number which you are dividing by. So that's the three. Don't do it the other way around. It's really important you have it the correct way around. Next thing you do, line up the dot like you do when adding and subtracting. So the next thing you do, line up the dot. Place the decimal point. See, we've lined up the dot. Here's a dot. Here's a dot. Line it up. Place the decimal point on the roof of the garage where you will write the answer. This decimal point should be lined up with the original decimal point below it. So line up the dot and give it all you've got for decimals, for dividing decimals. Uh, then you just do the division as normal. If you are finding that there are remainders, you can always add some more zeros to the number in the garage, like you could have written zeros here if you needed to. So first of all, how does this work? Okay, so 3 goes into 9 three times. The decimal's there. There's no remainders. 3 goes into 6 two times. So the answer is 3.2. Here's your answer. Super easy. Dividing frac this is dividing decimals by a whole number. The next page is a little bit more tricky. Here's another example. 7.3 divided by 4. So set up your garage. You've got your garage set up. And you do 7.3 divided by 4. So how would you do this if it helps? Just write it out from scratch here. 7.3. Then you set up your garage. Divide by... Four. Let's try it from scratch. 7.3 divided by 4. The second one has to go outside the garage. First step, line up the dot. So line up the dot, give it all you've got. Then do the division as always. This time you might have some remainders. Okay, 4 goes into 7 how many times? Goes once with how many remainder? So 4 goes into 7 one time with remainder of 3. So line up the dot. 4 goes into 33 how many times? Well, I think 4 goes into 32 8 times. So it goes in 8 times. And how many remainder from 33? From 32, there'll be a remainder of 1. So because of this, we're going to have to add extra zeros. Because it's not exactly 8 times it goes into 33. It's 8 with a remainder of 1. Okay, therefore 4 goes into 10 how many times? Four goes into ten twice to make eight. How many? But there's a remainder still. So I've got to insert another zero. So front two fours are eight. So remainder from ten is two. So it's still going on and on. So extend your garage. You might need to do that. We've got one point eight two so far. Okay, four into twenty goes exactly five times. So we're done now. So our answer is 1.825. Notice you don't add any decimals in afterwards to this one. Just what pops up the top is your answer. Which is nice. So no having, like a multiplying and dividing, no having to think where to put the decimal. Where it was here is where that should be in the answer. So in this case, the remainder, so we add that extra zeros. Just reminding you of terminology as well. The number that's in, parked in the garage is called the dividend. So here's some terminology. There's a special word for it. So the dividend is 7.3. The number parked outside the garage is called the divisor. That's what you're dividing by. We're dividing by 4, so 4 is the divisor. The answer to dividing is called the quotient. Just like how the answer to multiplying is called the product. The answer to adding is called the sum. And the answer to subtraction is called the difference. So the answer to dividing is called the quotient. 
um, and he's a little garage. Now let's do a slightly trickier, a bit trickier this time. Dividing decimals by other decimals. So to divide decimals by a whole number, actually no, um, slightly different. To divide decimals by, to divide decimals by a decimal, I should say here, sorry. Feel free to change that on yours if it's not been changed already. To divide decimals by a decimal, e.g. 0.924 divided by 0.7. First of all, you need to turn the divisor, the thing you're dividing by, into a whole number. This can still be a decimal. This needs to be made a whole number. So what do you need to, what could you, what multiple of 10 could you times this by to make it a whole number? So if you times it by 10, you'll get a whole number, you'll get 7. So, but because, to balance it, because you times this one by 10, you need to times this one by 10 also. So times this one by 10, you get 7. Times this one by 10, you get uh, 0 point, sorry, 9.24. So instead we're going to do 9.24 divided by 7. So as I said here, first of all you need to turn the divisor. The divisor is the second thing, this thing here, into a whole number. So you either, like say if it was 0 0.07, to turn into a whole number, you times it by 100, and then you turn into 7. If it was 0 0.007, you'd need to times it by 1,000 to turn it into a whole number. So in this case, it was just 0 0.7, so we just needed to times it by 10 to turn it into a whole number. So whatever you multiplied the divisor by, you must also multiply the dividend by that too. Um, so therefore, this one, the dividend times 10 is 9.24. And instead, you therefore do 9.24 divided by 7. Which makes sense because you get the same answer. And then what pops up at the top is the answer. Because it makes sense if you had 0.9, uh, let's say, sorry, if you had um, something like 14 divided by 7, that's the same answer as 140 divided by 70. 14 divided by 7 is 2, 100 times them both by 10, 140 divided by 70 is also 2. So just pointing out that times them both by the same number and then dividing, you get the same answer. So now do the, do the division using the two numbers. Set up the division garage is the first thing. You park the new dividend in the garage and the new divisor outside the garage. Make sure you leave the decimal point in and now you line up the dot and give it all you got. So in the next step, place the line up the dot and give it all you got. Feel free to write that if you want, line up the dot. That's why we have the dot here. And then just do the division like we did on the previous page. So, um, let's see. Uh, 9, we'll just ignore this one for now. So 7 goes into 9, how many times? It goes in once. With how much of a remainder? With 2 remainder. So remainder from 7 into 9 is 2. 7 into 22 you think of it goes three times, because three times seven is 21. So from 21 to 22, there's a remainder of four, one. Seven into 14 goes exactly two times. So that's how we've got an answer of 1.32. Um, so that's what it says. So you do the division as normal, so the answer is 1.32. Tending to change anything. So it just requires this initial step of multiplying this by a multiple of 10 to make it a whole number and doing the same to that one, and then do the division as always. Now, yep, oh, okay, there's no more examples, that's basically it. Um, so, again, uh, if you want to do another one, let's do one little example, I'll do another little example. Let's do uh, three point, it's probably hard to see, it's in yellow, one more example, three point two four, Divide by uh, 0 0.02. So you've got to think, what do I need to multiply the divisor by to make it a whole number? So this one, we need to times it by 100. It's been multiple of 10. So if you times it by 100, you get 2. So times that one by 100, and then also times that one by 100 balance it. So 3.24 times 100 is 324. We're still dividing. 0.02 times 100 is 2. So that's what we now work out with our carrots. We go 324 
set up your garage just by dividing by two. There is no decimal, so no need to line up any dot. Two goes into three once, with one remainder. That makes twelve. Two goes into twelve six times, with no remainder. Two goes into four twice. So the answer is one sixty-two. Um, if I had 0 0.002 instead, I would times both of them by a thousand, and so on. Then you just do the division as always. Okay, thank you for watching.